This is a game I made. Let me walk you through the process. Let's start with the most annoying part, the scrolling text. And this is a little bit of a mess. Um, so it consists of a phone that has text blocks that have text. Um, I. <laughs> I know this is a lot um, of repeated uh, nodes, but I was a little pressed on time. So let me show you the code for that. Uh, the, the code for the text is basically just randomizing the sprite um, out of six different images. And it also has a function for that because um, I want to be able to call it outside of the text itself. So let's move on to the text block. It has 10 uh, different texts and it uses to, a tween to move up, um, which is called from the phone. So whenever, uh, whenever the tween is called, the entire text block moves up. And when the text block uh, reaches a certain point, it is respawned down at the bottom and all the text is randomized. So one of the tweens in um, inside the phone, oh, I'm sorry, one of the text blocks inside, the, uh, inside of the phone um, are connected to the phone via a signal. So whenever, whenever a tween is completed, um, it sends out a signal that it's done moving up. Uh, that's how I'm simulating uh, the scrolling. So you have a person scrolling up, reading, and then waiting. So how that works, the phone moves the text on a ready. It moves it up. And once that tween is completed, this first text block sends out a signal to the phone uh, and I start a timer that then waits for a random amount, uh, which is, by the way, bound to the BPM of the song. I, I wanted to, I wanted uh, the majority of the things in the, um, in the game to be bound to the BPM of the song, which is 82 beats per minute, and this number is. 60 seconds in a minute divided by 82 BPM. All right, so once uh, once this is called, uh, we move the text and we start a wait timer. Uh, and we don't start the wait timer, we set the wait time uh, for the timer. The timer is started uh, when the tween is completed, so we wait Oh, we wait for a set amount of time after the tween is completed, and then after that we move it. So let me explain how individual ads work. Um, so they have an initialized method, which is called from uh, the game um, script. And from that they get their direction, which is their movement direction, um, their speed and their position. Speed increases. Uh, based on the amount of time that passed in the game and it's actually decremented each time the song kind of goes a little slower um, I, I wanted to kind of really go with this uh, song um, centric design and uh, they are actually a kinematic body and they, they have collisions because because in the game I don't want them to run out of bounds um, when they're moving um, away from the player mouse, which they are. Uh, they are moving away from the player mouse with a velocity y, which is based off the distance to the mouse, 
but it's not um, it's clamped so it's not it's not moving too fast once the uh, once the distance to the mouse is uh, gets too low right and the way that they die is they track uh, when the mouse enters their body uh, in a variable mouse hover equals false on mouse entered equals true and mouse exited false and in the unhandled input if mouse is hovering over the ad and event is action clicked we die which is we set the sprite to not visible because we want we want the um, ad to play a sound so we we don't keep free it just yet we disable the collision shape so that the um, phone doesn't track its collision with this and we don't increment the um the ad shown score and we play the death sound and we increment the global ads blocked uh counter so let's get into the game a node as you can see it has a lot of timers uh which i will explain what they do but the main one that we have to worry about is the ad timer which doesn't auto start which does not auto start but it is started after the start timer runs out which is one shot and auto start uh, this value is four beats of the song and once this is up we start the, uh, the ad timer because we don't want to spawn the ads instantly after the game starts but rather wait for a little bit and let the player get their bearings uh, once the uh, once the ad timer is started, we start spawning the ads every um, every two beats of the song in the beginning. But once the drums come in, we change that value uh, to one beat of the song. Right. Uh, so faster timer. <laughs> Faster timer is basically a timer for when the, the song first comes in. Uh, <laughs> slower timer is a timer for when the song slows down again. And faster, faster timer is when it speeds up again. And then slower, slower timer is when the song slows down again. And then uh, the stop timer timeout is when the um, drums come out uh the drums stop and we stop spawning the ads so the way that we spawn the ads is we we have three three variables we have direction speed and position ad direction is basically the direction that the ad is moving in so if it's spawned on the right its direction will be negative one because it's moving uh towards the origin and if it's spawned on the left its direction will be positive one and we multiply its um, x velocity by that uh, so that we can uh, move the ad in uh, the appropriate direction uh, position y is randomized along the along the screen uh, with this pardon me with this and and the way that we track uh, when the ads enter enter the phone is on phone uh, body entered um, it's a signal inside the phone so we have the body entered and the body exited signal and only bodies that enter um, the phone are pretty much the ads so we append the ad to the array and in the physics process uh, we count the amount of ads in the ad array and we increment the milliseconds of ads viewed timer uh, multiplied by the delta and a thousand and then set the label and once the um, the ad is either destroyed uh, so its collision shape is set to uh, not active or it exits the or it exits the phone then uh, this signal is called and we erase it from the array that's uh, my way of doing this and once the song stops playing audio stream player finished uh, we 
change the scene to the game end. Game ends once the song ends. Uh, we show the player. Um, we show the player how many milliseconds of the ads the user has viewed, and we show him how many ads uh, the player has blocked. Once you click, you go back to the main menu, and that's about it. Thank you.